Are these two functions the same then based on our graphs? Are they the same? No, they are not the same, right? Are their limits the same as you approach infinity? F of X is obviously not equal to G of X, but the limit as you approach infinity of F of X is equal to the limit as X approaches infinity of G of X. Now, what was the limit? What happened to the graph as you went to the right or left for those two graphs? Did they level off at something? Did they level off? It didn't level off at anything, right? So, like, we don't know what the limit is because they're both infinity. So, what you a more concrete way to say this is, if you want to say that this function models this function when you have big values, you're going to say that the limit of their quotient is 1. That's what this says down here. When you divide the two, like we're saying they're not equal, right? If you divide two things and it equals one, what does that tell you about those two things? They're equal. If we divide these two things, 3x to the fourth here, you can write it out one more time because you like doing that so much. 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. If I divide that by 3x to the fourth, does that equal one? It does not equal one. But if I look at the limit of that quotient, the limit of that as you approach, actually plus or minus infinity here because it's the same either way. If you look at the limit of that quotient, that does equal 1. Would have been quicker to rewrite it. So what do we say? The limit of that thing, the, the limit of that does equal 1. If you want to show that the limit of that equals 1, how could you do that? The first thing you try and resort to is doing some algebra to make it work. What algebra could you do on that to show that that's equal to 1? Because it's not obvious just by looking at this. Um, no, you don't want to substitute one because we're looking at the limit as you approach infinity. Can you substitute infinity in there? You're going to get it three times infinity to the fourth power plus or minus two times infinity to the third. It's going to be infinity divided by infinity. Who knows what that is, right? It's not, it's not, you don't know that, right? It's not always going to be one. It's not always going to be one. If I change the numbers on the top and the bottom, it's not going to be 1. This one you can show that it's equal to it's equal to 1 if you do some algebra with that fraction. If you, div if you have a single term on the bottom, you can split it apart, right? 3x to the 4th over 3x to the 4th. That one's easy to see what it is. All the rest of them here... I mean, I'm, I'm writing this out, but probably you can jump ahead here a little bit and see what each of these terms is going to be. You don't like uh, that? Thank you. It's wrong. What, uh, what are each of those things then? I'm not evaluating the limit yet, but I'm going to simplify each of those individual terms. This is 1. This is... 2 over 3x, right? This is 1 over x squared. This thing is 5 over 3x to the third. And then that last one is 2 over x to the fourth, right? So what does that uh, turn out to be there? What about each of these things? What is uh, what is what are each of those things? Have the rest of my x. The first one you can figure out pretty easily, right? What's the first one? This one's one, right? We're actually going to evaluate the limit here. That one's one. What's the limit of this? Remember, you can't substitute in infinity, but you can think about what it is, right? Two over three times infinity is two over. What's three times infinity? Infinity. 
the, the, when you think about math with infinity, it's nice because the answer is almost always infinity, right? Or zero, but 2 over infinity is, no, it's zero. <laughs> the answer is either zero or infinity or negative infinity. 1 divided by infinity squared. <laughs> it's zero. 5 divided by, if you have a, if you have infinity on the bottom, it doesn't matter what's on the top, right? If you take, if you take two cookies and divide them up amongst infinity people, or if you take five cookies and divide them up amongst in, infinite number of people, how much do you each get? Nothing. It doesn't matter how many cookies you have if you have a finite amount of cookies. This is equal to one, okay? <laughs> Now, as uh, I realize we just spent like 45 minutes talking about one question, but but that's uh, that's the way it is. I know I am. I'm gonna have to split it in half. That's okay. Thank you though. You gotta give me a one minute warning, you know, like at a hockey game, one minute left to play in the third period or whatever. So at 14, you gotta tell me. I had a few, I had at least one person in each class trained to do that last year, and uh, I have to we have to retrain some people. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I need. Oh, and what? I have to finish talking. Yeah. Um,